Hi everyone, I'm Kirby Johnson and gel manicures are all the rage right now. Everybody loves them, but you're probably removing them the wrong way. So today I'm gonna teach you the right way. So here's what you'll need to accomplish this task. Cotton balls, very important. Acetone, you will need a nail groomer, which can also be called a nail cleaner and aluminum foil. Okay, so first step, take one cotton ball, just one. This is going to remove all of your polish from both hands, it's true. You wanna break it up into tiny pieces. And what you're going to make sure you do is you divide them into 10 separate little pieces for each nail, how cute. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, they don't need to be very thick because what you're going to do now is dip them into your acetone. All right, once it's completely saturated, just wring it out a tiny bit. You wanna put the saturated cotton ball onto the top of your nail bed. And you wanna make sure that you're not wrapping your entire finger with the cotton ball. Because if you do that, it can dry out your cuticles, dry out your nails, they're gonna turn white, get really dry, it's not good. So just make sure you place it right on top of the nail bed. And then from here, take a piece of aluminum foil, I've already cut these into smaller pieces, and wrap it. What this is going to do is create a uh, heat conducting type of mechanism, which I know that sounds super scientific, but what it's going to do is make sure that the acetone completely goes through the gel on top of your nail, and then that way in about five to 10 minutes, we're gonna take this nail groomer and scrape the gel right off the top of the nail. It's gonna be really easy, and it's not going to peel or damage your nails. Okay, so now that I sufficiently look like I'm ET phoning home, you wanna leave this on for about five minutes, or if you just got your gel nails and they've only been on for about a week, you might wanna leave them on for 10. And then we're going to check them, kind of like you would check highlights. You'll know that your polish is ready to scrape off when you take off the aluminum foil and you see the polish actually peeling up off of your nail. If it's not coming up, you wanna put another cotton pad on top of it and wait another five minutes. So I'm letting these two nails soak a little bit longer because they did need a little bit more time. But when you are ready to push off your gel polish, you wanna take your nail groomer, even a wooden stick would work, and start to push off the gel polish very, very gently, starting at your cuticle and ending at the tip. If you do it backwards and start at the tip and move towards your cuticle, you risk severely damaging your nail, which completely contradicts the whole purpose of removing your gel polish correctly. So don't do that. <laughs> Okay, so now that you've removed all of your polish, you wanna take one more cotton ball, dip it in some acetone, and just swipe over your nail lightly to get rid of any excess polish that may be left over. And then you might notice that maybe your cuticles are a little bit dry, maybe your nails are too. All you need is a bit of cuticle oil, and even a moisturizer, and you're good to go. And now you know the right way to remove your gel manicure without sanding down your polish or peeling it off. I'm Kirby, and we'll see you next time on Pop Sugar Beauty.